Hey everyone, okay so today I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts on this and this is Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. Comes in two shades, I picked the Fair to Medium which looks like this. So it's completely white. Now what's interesting about this is there's a little hole at the back and it looks like it's refillable which is really nice. Okay, so I've got some base on and I've got a nice little spot here. So this should be interesting to see what it does with that. So first thing I'm gonna do is just put some concealer on and let's just do it there as well. And then let's just blend this in. So this product is supposed to brighten, look completely flawless. And if you're familiar with the evolution of Charlotte Tilbury's brand, it will also do the dishes and give you hours and hours of intense foreplay because it does everything, everything. Okay, so concealer on. So I'm gonna take this Wonder product which is my first, I've literally just got this. I got an email sent to say, there's a new product and I bought it. So let's take this product, first impressions. I'm gonna take this on my number four brush. It's very loose. There is, you're not gonna be able to see that, but there is product kind of falling as I do it. So I'm gonna brighten up underneath the eye here. We'll do one side. And see how we go. Okay. We just, I'm going to go a little bit lower down here just to give you a kind of impression of it. Okay, so First impression, I believe I used too much. It looks horrible. It doesn't look great underneath this eye area. And also this is for fair to light skin. It is too light. It just looks odd. I don't know what it's gonna look like on camera, but it doesn't look good here. So on the other side, I'm gonna use a much smaller amount and I'm gonna pat it instead. Let's go over that little beauty. Let me just get this little mirror instead. Okay, so this side looks much better because I used a lot less product. Now, I don't have particularly deep skin. My, I have light skin. And with a normal application, it's very, very light. So how this is gonna work on medium skin tones, I don't know. But on a lighter application, it's all right. I mean, it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. What I wanna do is now just go back in with that first side, because I just wanna show you you can see how light this product is on the skin. And it is brightening because there is a real amount of reflection here. There really is. And even though there's no actual particles of shimmer here that's kind of shining, it's really quite reflective and incredibly distracting. That looks absolutely horrid. This side, however, looks completely fine. And I think, let's just take away some shine here. I think with a really kind of subtle amount, yeah, you get a much nicer finish with it. And it isn't quite as reflective either. But it, yeah, it's not terrible. That is terrible. But that's, I apply too much product, right? But that's, but you can also see here, look, it's really catching right there in that gorgeous bit of skin. So that's not great. So do not overapply this product if you are using it. 
but this side this side's much better actually let me try okay so i'm quickly going back over this i've just removed some of that product well all of that product actually so i've removed it i'm just reapplying the base I'm going to just do, I don't need it, but I'm just going to do a touch of concealer where I normally place it. And I'm just going to, because I want to be, I don't want to be dishonest about anything. So that's where I would normally apply concealer. So what I'm going to do is now apply this product just to that area so we can get a, a better look of it. I'm not a fan of how it looks on the eyelid here. To me, it's just not great. So let's have a little looky. It's a, it, it's a completely benign product to me on first impressions. I'm a fan of highlighting here or concealing because this area doesn't move right here it's here that moves but it just doesn't look that brightening it doesn't look that great it doesn't look that delicious it's just not very it's not that wonderful you do get nine grams of product though which is pretty good and it obviously is refillable because you can hear it moving around as well which is really nice but it's a no it's a no and this is a shame i know i go on and on about it but when I see the blurb for all of their products now, it resembles nothing like it used to. It used to kind of look like to me like a, um, what's the word? If you have Tom Ford in kind of styling, then it was kind of like there. It was sort of like a poor man's version of Tom Ford. And I'm not talking about the price point, but it was, it was more on that level. And then it started to morph into more benefit style, which is, ridiculous nonsense and even the packaging and all the blurb on the back it, it was like 80 percent this and 60 percent that and 100 percent this and you know all things that weren't on the original and didn't need to be on the original and this is another product that just isn't that great at all it's really not the more i look at it here the more i just think this is no i mean it just it just isn't the best kind of powder if you have any kind of lines around the eyes like I do it's just no it's really it's a bloody no let me know what you think though I'll link it you know it's your money why not try it why not but it's a no from me thanks for watching see you all soon bye bye